Good morning, everyone. Today is DIY fire pit day. So as Steven was bringing in, or bringing in from the garage, all of the wood for the fire, I made him this yummy breakfast. Mm -hmm. Cheesy eggs and cinnamon sugar toast. So he earned that. As soon as he's done with that, we're gonna do the fire pit and then go get the rest of the materials to make our benches and the floors. The fire pit bricks look like this. Oh, I gotta go outside this way. Um, we have two different colors. It, there's like a pink color. I don't know if you could tell the difference in the sun here. This is the pink color, and then we have like a tannish color. That might be a little better. So we're just gonna make a round circular fire pit, and then we're gonna make a floor out of all little pebbles, which we still have to pick up at Home Depot. Then the border is going to be stones, or a cement, I don't know what you would call it. And then we're gonna make these benches that we found on Pinterest. And that's gonna be our day. And then Jamie and Ralph are coming over for our cookout <clears throat> to break in our new fire pit, if we get it done. Would you like anything to say? We got it, it's easy. We'll get it done. He said it's gonna take two seconds, like everything else in the house. I'm just so skilled. Except everything that was supposed to take two seconds took like two weeks but from my video from yesterday he did take off and do a ton of stuff yesterday so we'll be vlogging our DIY Pinterest fire pit first step for the fire pit is done Stephen dug out an area to make the ground level and then we laid the circular pink tan alternating bricks and it's gonna look I think it's gonna look really good and then here's some bricks that whoever left at our house um, that we're gonna crush up with the hammer and set in the center of the fire pit I don't know why maybe just to have a base or something um, but Steven said that's what we're gonna do here's the master the master fire pit Pinterest maker. He's sweating right. like a pig. Our next step is to use this glue strong stick. This is what I used the for oh, the yeah. mirrors that I made. So we're gonna put glue on each of the stones and place stones on the top until we're done. And this, I think we already got the hard part done, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so this part shouldn't be too bad. But these bricks are heavy, so it might be bad. Never know. Never know. Chop, chop, two seconds. Got our second row glued down, and Steven's just setting them in place. That um, glue is repositionable up to like 10 minutes, so we got to work quick. I think it looks really good so far, and it's just the beginning. Coop, what do you think? Roxy, what do you think? They're just hanging out watching their daddy work. Hello. That looks awesome. Steven's working on getting the last row in place. We were debating on whether or not to make it three high or four high. That right there is three high. But I think that's plenty enough now that I see it all there. Don't you? Yeah, it should be. When you look at it from back here, it looks good. It won't be that high. No, I know. I mean, that's looks good to me. This is where we're gluing it. Just right along the edges. You don't really need much because that stuff is pretty strong. Looks good so far.
we are done with what we are doing for today. We didn't get finished all the way because we didn't buy enough of these rocks, but this is what it looks like. We got the two benches. Wait, no, I can't do it backwards. There and there, and then the fire pit, and then the rocks, and then the border. We need to fill in the rocks for the whole ground so we have to go back another day and get more rocks to finish it off but we got little tiki torches and i think it looks really good so far um but yeah we just have to get more rocks and we'll be finished so now we're gonna have our first little bonfire tonight jamie and ralph are gonna come over we're gonna cook out and that's what we'll be doing I'm exhausted. So, so Jamie and Ralph are here and we are having our campfire. Jamie is making mm. cheese and crackers. No, cheese melt crackers. Cheese melt crackers. They're delicious. Which, crackers are really delicious. And then what Three. kind of cheese? Three. Three cheese. Straight and that's really good France. too. Straight from France. Did you get that at the fresh market? I got no, I got this at Petty's. Oh. The specialty store. Okay. So Steven is making chicken on the grill for him and Ralph. Mm. And then he's right now grilling Jamie and I our vegan sausages. Snausages? Steven bought these <clears throat> vegan sausages mm. at Win Dixie, and I was like, definitely not gonna try them. <laughs> but because the only thing we eat are like veggie burgers and chick patties, I don't like the fake the meat. Fake meat. But I actually gave it a try, and they're really good. Like, I'm still skeptical. Yeah, but you're gonna like them. Like we're gonna yeah. put them on a bun. We're gonna put a little cheese on. Oh, it. Look I'm gonna what put else spicy mustard on it. This is made in our area, and I test tasted it at the specialty store. Mango habanero. He had like oh. 10 different flavors of hot sauce. Oh, see, I don't know if I'll like that because it's like mango. I'm going to put really good. like my spicy mustard on, on it. it and Jamie's going to put this on her snossage. On my snossages? <clears throat> yeah, and Jamie um, it's really played with good. Roxy all night mm -hmm. with the laser light. And li Roxy went crazy. Roxy, like, I got to tape that in the it. daytime because it's so funny. Yeah. So. Did you video the end finished product? Like, well, the, I did, but it's not done yet. But I'll show you how it looks product. all lit up. Yeah. Is it gonna you be able to see it? Do you think? I think so. We can so I'll show you what it looks shine like. Shine a flashlight. Yeah. So yeah, time for dims. Time for dims. There's the brie from <laughs> oh. France. The brie from France. And Wait. the crackers, and we also you got another these? special treat for later today. Jet. I don't know what that means. Jet puffed s'more. Is that your new phone case? Yes! <laughs> That's cute. Isn't it cute? Wait, can they see that they're squares? They're squares. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to buy these for so long. Perfectly since to fit they on came the came out. <laughs> you fit perfectly on the graham cracker. Cinnamon graham crackers and chocolate. Oh, and I got my I'm excited. Look at I got new s'more skewers just Ooh, for tonight. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me see that they're cute. I was like, I thought they I were gonna be it. way bigger than that. But they're kind of short. No. That's but Steven's enough. like, what do you want to stand 10 feet away from the fire? And I'm yes, like, well, yeah, no. usually. He said, well, no. I'll have to cut a stick. So, yeah, we're going to have s'mores later. I'm which so I'm, excited. When's the last time you had a s'more? Oh. Forever ago. Like seventh grade. Yeah, so we're going to go enjoy our yes. appetizer, then have our sausages. <laughs> and so we got our tiki torches lit. Oh, there's Roxy's eyes. Koopy's eyes over there all lit up. You can only see their eyes. <laughs> yeah, look at Koopy's oh. eyes. They're green over there. Video. You can't really see the marshmallows. Take a picture. Because mine's going to fall off. I can't do it. It's blowing towards my face, though. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. You try to do it. You want to try? My bronchitis is kicking in. I can't do it.